Welcome. Today, let's carry out an APU fuel feed line purging. Let's go. So the first step is to make sure that the APU circuit breakers are closed. APU fuel supply line, APU fuel vent line, push button switch. So the fuel comes through this uh, line to the APU fuel control unit. So in this procedure, we're simply removing any air that might have collected in the APU fuel supply line through this APU fuel vent and drain valve. So this is our APU fuel control unit. Now, for us to complete this task, we need this special tool. This is called an APU fuel vent and drain valve adapter. Uh, this is our APU fuel vent and uh, drain valve. So we'll connect the adapter to this uh, vent and drain valve. So we'll just plug it in and screw it in. Okay, so while we're at it, let's talk a bit about this procedure. So basically in this uh, procedure, we are dealing with fuel and anytime you are working on fuel, fuel system, you need to make sure that you take uh, special precautions. And we also need to make sure we have a bucket in place to capture the fuel that we are going to drain. Just give it a firm hand tight and we are ready to start our purging process. So we need to just make sure that our bucket is in place and our adapter hose end uh, is in the bucket. Sorry for the mess, I was just doing some um, maintenance on the APU fuel control unit. So now we just make sure that the hose is because when the fuel comes out, it will come out at a high pressure so it can splash all over the place. So onto our APU fuel vent uh, line push button switch. So let's give it a firm press. So once you give it a firm press, uh, the pump will run and the fuel will start coming out. So this is our fuel. As I said earlier on, just be careful of the splash uh, fuel may get into your eyes. So in this procedure, we don't need to drain out uh, a lot of fuel because our main purpose of this procedure is to remove air from the AP fuel supply line. So we just need to check our purging adapter for any air. Like now you can, you can see there's uh, these air bubbles. So once they stop, uh, we can stop the procedure. So once the bubbles stop, we can uh, release the fuel vent line uh, push button switch. So once the bubbles are gone, our job is almost done. So the next step is to start uh, removing all of this and uh, restoring the aircraft back to its original uh, configuration. So we do this procedure after any maintenance work on the APU fuel supply line. Uh, in this case, in our case today, we just replaced the APU fuel control unit. So that opens up the line and uh, introduces it into the system. So after that, we just need to do this procedure to uh, take out any air in the fuel system to avoid any issues with our APU. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, like and follow for more. Ciao.